Okay, in this video we're going to talk about how to add rows or columns to your worksheet, as well as how to delete an entire row or column. And I'm going to show you how to do it with the mouse, and then I'll show you how to do it with keyboard shortcuts. First, let's do it with the mouse. Let's dive into this example, and I'm going to click on this row. I'm going to right click, and then you'll notice it says insert. So I click insert and it inserts a row above wherever I was selected. Okay, let's control Z. If you're just selected on a cell, then it's just going to insert one cell. So you have to be selected on the entire row. Same with columns, you wanna be selected on a column. Let's just start right here on column A and right click and say insert, and it just plops your column right in there to the left of where you were selected. We'll control Z again. And let's talk about some shortcuts. So let's say we're selected right here and we wanna put a row in right here. So what we need to do is first select the entire row. And you can do that by clicking, right? But if you just wanna use keyboard shortcuts, you can also go with Shift Space. That will select the whole row and then when you go control plus, it'll add an entire row here above the word strawberry. And while you're selected like that, if you want to add a bunch of rows, you can just say control plus 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 like that. You can also add a bunch of rows at one time and I'll show you how to do that. But instead of just going control Z, let me go ahead and delete these rows. And the way you do that is you have the row selected and you hit control and minus. And you do that until they're gone. But let's say I wanted to insert five rows above this, okay? What you do is you first arrow up to the top row, you could be right there. Then you hit shift space to select the entire row. And then you hit shift down arrow to select all five rows and then you hit control plus, the shortcut key for inserting a row, and because you had five rows selected, it's going to add five. If you wanted to do 10, then you just select 10 rows, okay? We'll just control Z to get rid of that, or we can hit control minus to get rid of all those rows. And let's do a column. To insert a column, you first have to, similar to with rows, you have to select the entire column. So you could either click on the column or you can hit Control and Spacebar. So it was Shift Spacebar for the rows, it's Control Spacebar for the columns. And then the same thing with this, you hit Control Plus and it inserts a column to the left of where you had selected. And again, it's the same with this. If you want to do multiple rows or columns, excuse me, then you hit the shift key and you can select multiple columns. So we've selected five columns and then we just hit control plus. And you see it dropped five new columns in here and it pushed our other column all the way over to the side. So I'll control Z or I can again control minus to get rid of those and I can control, well if I control minus here, because I have this selected, it's gonna delete that. I'll show you, it's like that. So you wouldn't wanna do that, you control Z and then I would go and I would select these columns. So I'd go here, control spacebar, control minus and now our spreadsheet is back to normal. And then one last trick I'll show you. If you wanted to insert a blank in between each one of these rows, what you can do is select this one and then hold the control key and select here. So we're selecting every other row. You hit control plus. Excuse me, actually we have to hit control and select all of these. Here, let me start over and show you that. So let's say that you wanted to create a blank space between each of these. If I select all of these like this together and I hit control plus, it just puts a block of four in there, but it doesn't give me every other one. So let's control Z that and I'll show you how to do this. You select the second one, 
Then you hold the control key and you select the next one. Continue holding control and select each individual one. And notice how these are selected individually rather than as a big group. Now when I hit control plus, it puts a line in between each of those lines. So to recap that, the difference is you select, you hold control and select, hold control and select. And you select all the lines that you want to put a blank line above and then you're good to go. Whereas if you're just trying to insert five rows, you just click and drag and select the five rows and then it'll put five blank ones above like that. Okay, so that's how you add rows, add columns, add multiple columns, use shortcut keys, and delete rows and columns as well. I imagine by now we're starting to get into some topics that are actually teaching you a thing or two even if you know how to do Excel already. And I hope this is helping and thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.